In this problem, we're told an automobile traveling 95 kilometers per hour overtakes a 1.1 kilometer long train traveling in the same direction on a track parallel to the road. If the train speed is 75 kilometers per hour, how long does it take the car to pass it and how far will the car have traveled in this time? What are the results if the car and train are traveling in opposite directions? So whenever you have something trying to overtake something and you're trying to find out when they cross, you're going to want to create an equation. And so I'll walk you through how to do this. So what you want to do is take uh, the velocity of your car here, and then you're going to multiply it by t. So what you're going to do is set it equal to the velocity of the other car. So in this case, it's 75, and then you want to multiply it by t. And then what you want to do is add, in this case, the distance between the two. So they're traveling in the same direction. So what you want to do is take uh, the distance between the two, and we know it's 1.1 kilometers. And so now all we got to do is solve. So what we're going to do is just solve for t here. And so that's going to be the amount of time it takes. So if you minus 75 t, you're going to get 20 t equals 1.10. If you divide by 20, you should get what t equals. So t equals 1.10 divided by 20. So t is going to be equal to 0 0.055. And so keep in mind that this is in hours. So 0 0.055 hours, uh, you can convert it uh, however you want or to whatever you want. But uh, I'm just going to leave it in hours. And so now what we want to do is find how far the car will have traveled. So if the car is going 95 kilometers per hour and we know how many hours it's going, all we got to do is take its speed and then multiply it by the number of hours. So 95 kilometers per hour times 0 0.055 uh, hours. If you go ahead and do that, 95 times 0 0.055, you're going to get 5.225. And keep in mind that this is going to be in kilometers. So this right here is going to be uh, the how far the car traveled. This is right here, uh, how long it took. So now let's swap this up and say if the result uh, if the car and the train are traveling in opposite directions. So essentially, we're just going to create the same equation, but uh, now they're traveling in opposite directions. So we have 95t, and so this is going to be traveling in the opposite direction now, right? So we're going to set this to negative, so minus 75t, and then it's going to be the same exact thing, plus 1.10. And so now what we want to do is we're adding it instead of subtracting like last time. So plus 75t plus 75t. Uh, if you go ahead and add this up, it's going to be 170t equals 1.10. So if you go ahead and divide, t is going to be equal to 1.10 divided by uh, 170. And you're going to get that it equals 0 0.00647 hours. And so this is going to be in hours. And uh, now that we've got it in hours, right, just like this one, uh, what we're going to want to do is find how far uh, the car traveled. So if we go ahead and do that, uh, all we got to do is plug it in again, right? Just multiply it. So 95 kilometers over hours times 0 0.00647 uh, hours. So 95 times uh, point zero zero six four sevens going to give you point six one four six five uh i'm gonna round right here so just point six one five and keep in mind it's in kilometers again so point six one five kilometers and point zero zero six four seven hours so that's going to be if the directions are reversed and then these right here are going to be your answers uh for the original one